hello everyone welcome back to another video how you are doing hope you're doing good thank you so much guys for always coming back if you're here for the first time you are highly welcome so don't forget to subscribe to my new youtube channels i will link them in the description box below so in today's tutorial we're going to be making this short dress i will be adding about three inches gather to the bottom of the dress as you can see there's a gather at the bottom of the dress and there's a gather at the tip of the sleeve I'm using one and a half yards of African print for this tutorial. I'm cutting out the front and the back together. This is the front panel. And the, this is the back panel. I use the biggest part of the body to cut out the fabric, which is the hip measurement. And I added about a two to three inches for ease and the sewing allowance to it. So this is the front and this is the back. The back is one and a half inches bigger than the front one because of zipper allowance. So this is my zipper allowance. So we go ahead and place the measurement. Right from the, the back midpoint, I will measure it up to where I want the sleeve to be. So for the one I'm making, I want it to be 13 inches. I will be adding about three to four inches gathered to it. The shoulder measurement I'm working with is 14 inches divided by two is seven inches. So this is this is my seven inches. Remember I'm marking it right from here. This the zipper allowance is not included. So I will extend it. I will add about six inches to it, making it 13 inches. I'm taking three and a half inches for the wideness of the neck. I will take one and a half inches for the back depth and take three inches for the front depth. So I'll connect the neckline. I will go to the end here and mark one inch for shoulder slope. So we connect the shoulder slope. The round sleeve I'm working with is 16 inches divided by two is eight inches. I'll mark eight inches here. This will now be my chest line. So this is my chest line from shoulder to bust is 10 inches plus sewing allowance. Shoulder to waist is 16 and a half inches plus sewing allowance. And waist to hip is eight and a half inches plus sewing allowance. I will make a line here. The length of my dress is 39 inches. I'll be adding 3 inches gather at the bottom of the dress. So I'll minus 3 inches from 39 inches. 3 minus 39 is 36 inches. So I have 37 inches here plus sewing allowance. So I will go ahead and place the circumference measurement. The bust measurement I'm working with is 38 inches divided by 4 is 9 and a half inches. I'll add 1 inch for sewing allowance and 1 inch for ease. The waist measurement I'm working with is 30 inches divided by 4 is 7 and a half inches. I'll add 1 inch for sewing allowance and 1 inch for ease. That is 9 and a half inches. The hip measurement is 40 inches divided by 4 is 10 inches. I'll add 1 inch for sewing allowance or so and 1 inch for ease. So I'll mark my 12 inches here. If I'll go to the hip side and check what I have here. I have 12 inches here. 
and I'll go to the bottom a minus one or one and a half inches from the hip measurement. 12 minus one and a half is ten and a half inches. I'll mark ten and a half inches here. I'll go ahead and connect the lines. I'll connect it right from the chest line to the waistline, from waist to hip, and then from hip to the bottom of the dress. So I'll go to the upper part, to the sleeve side, and make a curve here. So I will go ahead and cut it out. I will cut the front part. So I finished cutting out the dress. So I'll bring the front panel out and cut out the, the neckline. I will split the back panel open. This is the waistline. I will go inside by half inch. Take it to the upside. So I will go ahead and cut out the facing. I will place the fabric underneath it and use it to trace the neck facing. I'm cutting out one and a half inches facing. I'll do the same to the front panel. So we'll go ahead and uh, put the fabric together. So I will take the back panel. I will use the facing to turn the neckline. And attach my zip here. I will take my zipper allowance sew it on this side and then sew it on the other side I'm done attaching the zip to the back side I've also used the facing to turn the neckline so all we are going to do next is to join the shoulders together so this is the zip I left this place unsewed I will Attach the gather to the bottom before closing up this place. So we'll go ahead and join the shoulders together. So I will lay the front against the back side, right side facing each other. So I will join the shoulders before attaching the gather to the sleeve. I will use half inch to join the shoulders together. I finished joining the shoulders together, so I'll go ahead and measure the arm opening because I'm going to be adding three inches gather here. So I'll measure the arm opening. I have about um, 15 inches here and the 15 inches on the other side. So because I'm making a gather here, I will times the 15 inches by two, which is 30 inches. So this is for the sleeve. I'll be adding this to the sleeve. I have about 3 inches length here and uh, the wideness is 30 inches that is a uh, times 2 of the arm opening I'll do the same thing to the other sleeve so what I'm going to do is to turn it to the right side so this is the right side and uh, this is the right side of the fabric so I will sew it and then make a gather here so I will gather this 30 inches. I will gather it to this arm opening. 
I'll use half inch to join the two inches to the arm opening here. I will do the same thing to the other side. And after I've done that, we'll join the side together. I'll finish attaching the gather to the sleeve. That's the arm opening. So I'll turn it to the wrong side. We we'll join the sides together before we attach the gather to the damp part of the dress. Before I add the gather to the sleeve, I make sure I hem this other part with a quarter of an inch before adding it to the arm opening. Remember one inch is our sewing allowance. So I will use one inch to join them together. So I will start sewing the one inch right from here, all the way to the damp part. I will do the same thing for this side. I will sew it right from here, all the way to the bottom of the dress with one inch. I'll finish joining the sides together. I will be adding about three inches gathered to the damp part. I'll do the same thing I did to the sleeve to the damp part. So I'll measure the damp part round. So I have about 45 inches here. I will times it by two, which is 90 inches. I use an overlock machine to tidy up the edges. I cut out about three and a half inches length and the wideness is 90 inches times two of the bottom of the dress. I will make a gather with this. Before I attach this to this dress, I will use a quarter of an inch to hem it round. So after I've done that, I will turn the dress to the right side. I will make sure right side are facing each other. So as I sew it, I will gather these three and a half inches. I will use a quarter of an inch to join them together. Then after I've done that, I will, I will stitch this place up. So guys, this is the finished look of the dress. I finished attaching the gather to the damp part. This is the damp part. So if you like, you can leave about three to four inches slit at the back. But if you think it's free enough, you can forget about the slit. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you find my tutorial helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in my next one. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my new YouTube channels. I'll link them in the description box. Thank you so much, guys. I love you. See you in my next one. Bye.